Hello, Sean. My name is Tommy Reichenthal. I'm a Holocaust survivor. And when I'm looking at you, you are nine year old. At your age, I was in concentration camp, Belgian Bells. What was life like before you went, you went into Holocaust? Well, I grew up in a village, just like villages in Ireland, and uh, I had a beautiful life. I always telling people that where I lived, it was my paradise. I used to play with uh, children from the village. We had a good life, and we didn't experience any hatred, so uh, people were very nice to us. So I have very, I have very fond memory from my childhood until in 1939 when the Holocaust began. We began to be hated and persecuted and the life became very difficult. Did you ever know or see Anne Frank? Well, Anna Frank, uh, she was in Belgian Belsen where I was. And uh, after the liberation, actually, I played in the hut where Anna Frank used to live. But Anna Frank died well before the liberation. So we wouldn't have known who Anna Frank was at the time. Her story came out only after the war. So I would, wouldn't have known that uh, Anna Frank lived in that hut. Tommy, what can children do to share your story? First of all, I lecture in schools, but I lecture in seniors' schools, not uh, for children, because my story is sometimes not very pleasant. But I wrote a book, and we also writing a book now for children. And uh, you will be able to get that book and find out. And of course, you can find out about me on the internet. Uh, Tommy, why is it important that children and older people know your story? It is very important because if we don't learn from the history. We never learn. And if we never learn, Holocaust can be repeated. It's already happened a couple of times since. One of them was in Srebrenica, in Bosnia, where a genocide happened, not in 1945. Genocide happened in Central Europe in 1995, in a civilized Europe. So we have to be very careful that history doesn't repeat itself. And that's why I'm lecturing uh, to senior uh, students and association and universities so that people learn because learning is very, very important. And we have to teach not to hate, not to bully. And if you see anybody get being bullied, don't become a bystander. Tell them it's wrong. Nobody said it was wrong when it happened to us. And look what happened, this tragedy of the Holocaust. What can we do to share your story? Well, you know, I'm quite uh, old. And the next uh, 10, 20 years, none of us will be left. So you have to pass the story of us, the Holocaust, what happened, and keep the memory, telling your children, perhaps even your grandchildren, and so we never forget what happened. Not long ago, only 70 years ago. What I would say to young people today uh, that um, 
people should not forget. And uh, when what I'm doing is uh, talking to young people and teaching them about the era of 30s and 40s so that we should uh, never forget and uh, make sure uh, that we erase the racism on xenophobia from our myths because unfortunately we have racism in Ireland and if somebody sees uh, somebody else being bullied or because they're foreign or because they're different color skin or they different religion they shouldn't become bystander they should get involved and say it's wrong i would like to quote uh, some quotes from anna frank how wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. Who is happy will make others happy too.